Hey, Scott Church from Streampunk Sports. Talk a little bit about the match tomorrow, the history that's involved, uh, the challenge that you've had playing RBA, uh, playing at RBA against RBNY, and any thoughts you got. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's, uh, it's going to be a, a tough game. Uh, hard game. They, it's a derby. You know how important it's to me in derby. Uh, well, or MLS or League's Cup. Uh, we know we need to to be in the right mentality and work hard all game to win this. We'll take our next question from Walter. Please proceed. Hola, Tiago, ¿cómo estás? Eh, soy Walter Muñoz de W Sport TV. Te quiero preguntar eh, la importancia tuya como defensa para que se pueda mantener el arco en cero y las posibilidades para buscar un gol. Eh, ¿Por dónde pasa el, el secreto para mantener la tranquilidad y la confianza en el equipo de tu parte como defensa? Nosotros sabemos que es muy importante para nosotros eh, ayudarnos unos a los otros. Corremos juntos, hacemos todos juntos, porque si todos defendemos, nosotros todos atacamos. Entonces, ellos empiezan a defender con nosotros los atacan, los delanteros, y nos ayudan. Entonces, corremos juntos, hacemos todo todo lo que podemos para mantener la baliza cero y, y consecuentemente nosotros ayudamos a ellos a hacer los goles mm -hmm. eh, y, y criarnos más para tener más oportunidades. Okay. We'll take our next question from Roberto, please proceed. Yeah, well, when you guys play at Red Bull Arena, against the Red Bulls. It, it, it's always a very difficult game. You guys have the ball, but they, they manage a lot of counterattack. But their press being as high as it is, does it, is it effective for you guys to change your style a little bit? I know you guys want to play out of the back as much as possible, but when it comes to them, you've got to jump lines and you've got to be a little bit more direct. And does having a center forward now, especially like Monsef Bakrar, does that help the, the, the situation because you can go forward a little bit easier? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, it's uh, when we play against them, uh, they always press us higher. And in my perspective, I like it because open the space and we can play. We can play, and when we have the ball, but we need to have the ball. We need to control the game, but we need to create. We need to create and uh, like uh, finish the action. We create and uh, score goals because we know. It's hard game. It's hard, and we and now we have a number nine. It's it's very good for us because he can help us like uh, to run in the back and to come protect the ball. And but you know it's going to be a tough game tomorrow, and uh, we need like uh, to solve this problem when they press us. We're going to now shift to our questions via Zoom. We'll start with John Lupo. John, please proceed. There we go. Okay. Uh, Tiago, defensively, if Atlas scored the goal against you, but you, you haven't given up anything since, what do you think has been working so well for you guys defensively, and, and how do you think you can take that into this match against the Red Bull side that's going to be really aggressive and that has a couple of strikers right now who are playing well, especially Vance here? Yeah, we know. We know uh we are defensively, we need like a, to keep the instruction, we need to to have a balance, we have like a, to keep the, the right position. And like I said, the, attacker, the attacking players help us a lot. And we, when we need to defend, they help us and we need to be compacted in this game and be aggressive. We don't have, we don't need, and we need, we, sorry, we need to press them. Because if they, we just gave, give them the ball and uh, give them the time, they create some problem with us. We need to press them and like, uh, if we press together, if we defend together, we can solve this problem and like, uh, control this game. We'll take our next question from Michael. Michael, please proceed. Tiago, Mike Andrew from Blue City Radio, thanks for the time. I actually want to ask a question about the locker room or, uh, you know, the, the club uh, not on the field. Uh, last year, there was uh, what was called or what was named the Brazilian Mafia. Uh, you had a bear, you had uh, Tiago Andrade and Javi Ferreira alongside you and Talish. Uh, just curious how you feel or how that's, uh, that's changed the dynamic now that uh, 
you know, you and I, Thomas, are the only two Brazilians left on these squads. Yeah, yeah, we know this is the this is the soccer. Uh, one one year we are together, the other year uh, the guys left, and uh, we know uh, we miss them because like uh, we have a Brazilian mafia. But now the things change. We need like uh, to think forward and the. Uh, me and Tal is like a, we are working together, we do everything together here and I help him and he helps me. But we know we need to like a, to talk with the other guys. We cannot like a stay just like us. Oh, just because of, we are Brazilian, we need to stay together. No. But this is the this is the this is the soccer. It's normal for us. We miss them, but like it's normal. We'll take our next question from Juan Carlos. Juan, please proceed. Hi, Tim. Thank you for your time. I'm Carlos from Empire Sports Media. Just wanted to ask you, you know, you come from an important victory like against Toronto. How's the team morale going towards, you know, a tough game against the Rebel? And yeah, how do you see them training for uh, this upcoming game? Yeah. We did a very good job against Toronto, and we know if we continue and keep working hard like we did uh, last week, we, we can have a chance and okay, we can continue this uh, but like I said we need to defend well we need to fight we need to create opportunity and finish the action uh, we are working hard we know everyone here work like animals to be prepared for the big match like this